Hello, hello, I'm Kads, and welcome back to the Free-to-Play Review. So today's topic is the latest iteration of the Hero's Path, and boy, do we have a stinker for you guys today. It is most certainly the worst combination of objectives being Dungeon Divers and Summoning Champions, and this happens to coincide with exactly nothing in the game. It's just basically a standard weekend summon rush. There's, you know, progressive chance events and whatnot, but there's no Titan event going on, there's no fusion going on, there's no anything extra so it's just like you're just kind of pulling to pull at this point and we'll talk about some of the rewards you can get but for the most part not really worth it kind of skipping to the end here end of the video thanks for watching i'm just kidding no but uh yeah so it's dungeon divers and a summon rush so it's already kind of lacking a lot of incentive to go for it you kind of want things more like champion training or artifact enhancement where you can use in-game resources energy and silver to kind of get your way through the path but anything that requires i mean shards are technically in game as well but typically the, that equates to amount of money unless you're a hardcore saver like myself but anyways in case you're genuinely interested in what you could get if you decide to go and pursue this you could get your hands on a couple legendary tomes mythical tome and eternal soul stone and maybe the crown jewel question mark a five star soul for the previous fusion score the half spawn now from the get-go i want to establish that this is a pretty brutal path and if you want more than one of the good rewards then you're gonna have to do a lot more than you might think in order to get it and the reason i say that is because you can kind of see that there's one key up for grabs here in the center but every single other path or every single path outside of that requires one key so by default you're gonna have to come down the center which is pretty relatively cheap but one key will only open one of these four paths and if you want to do anything else so get any other reward you're gonna to have to get one of the other keys so either the one at the very bottom which is past the soul past the eternal and the mythical or you're gonna to have to do one of the legendary tomes to get more keys so very very brutal so if you're gonna go for this at all i recommend you pick one reward so that you only have to get the one key and then you can go for the thing that you want so as i alluded to the center path is basically a part of every single thing we're going to talk about today so you can kind of just imagine that you come down the left hand or the right hand side straight to the middle pick up the one key and then from there you can continue on to the rewards that we're going to talk about so the first being legendary tome i would probably recommend coming down the right hand side because i think an immortal is a bit more powerful than the six star chaos orb but you know that'd be up to you and what you're pursuing but just getting yourself one legendary tome would be twenty seven thousand and eight hundred points and once again pointing out that you cannot get both of the tomes in one swing like some other paths have done in the past and so if you wanted the other one you'd have to go get another key it could be this one uh but you have to go get another pair of keys and, and then come back down so again highly do not recommend doing that if you wanted to get yourself the mythical tome same thing come down the center and get the key and then you have to come all the way back up here come down the right hand side and then come all the way down to the mythical tome and that would be forty nine thousand and three hundred points simple math if you wanted the eternal soul stone it's one node below so you add thirty thousand to that for seventy nine thousand and three hundred points and then if you were going for the soul for some weird reason, same thing, but flip it over onto the left-hand side. You come down, grab the key, come down the far left-hand side, all the way down to the soul, and that would cost you a grand total of 89,800 points. So as usual, let's translate that over to the spreadsheet, which is a lot more digestible form. I do have this dungeon diver section, which talks about, you know, the average coins per run for whatever stage you're going to be running, whether it be the campaign or the respective dungeons or the most popularly farmed dungeons. But as I always mention, dungeon Dungeon Divers is a horrendous source of points, and so you'd have to do tens of thousands of energy to get any appreciable amount. Therefore, it's just not really relevant to talk about how much credit you can get. But nonetheless, you have a few days to work on this Heroes Pass, so if you're just running dungeons just because, you might walk away with some of the really early rewards, and then you can decide from there if you want to fill in with pulling your own shards. In terms of translating each of the rewards that we talked about, these four into shards, you can see the amounts down here. And I guess I will note that there is a special promotion, so we, shall we call it going on for the primals where they're 50 percent more effective and so those are a little bit more cost effective during this event but i would still overall recommend given how rare primals are that you would just hold off until there's a, a true 2x on primals meaning that it's a 2x on the epics legendaries and the mythicals combined but nonetheless you can kind of see pick at your own leisure see what all of the rewards are going to cost you so one example being legendary tome would cost you around seven sacreds which objectively speaking is around where that would be or the equivalent of where that would be roughly in a champion chase perhaps on the bit of the cheaper side depending on rng because it's a standard legendary tome and one of those is somewhere around 
eight to 10 sacreds, give or take. So if you're looking at it in a vacuum, this is better than a potential odds during a champion chase on top of there being a progressive chance defense for a champion that you might want. But then you'd also just be yeeting seven uh, sacreds into the ether just to hope that you might get one of the boosted rates champions or get a legendary at all. And so it's, it's a crapshoot. It's up to you however you want to play it. But you know, so again, look at these at your own leisure and decide if it's worth it for you. I don't really recommend that um, just because there's not really anything else going on aside Aside from the progressive chance event. So in terms of my plan, it is going to be absolutely no shock to any of you, but this is the easiest skip of my entire raid career. So we're not doing this. I'm going to be running uh, the challenge tournaments going on over the next few days. This lasts for three days. So there's a, the remainder of the dragon tournament from the Telerians, and then there's also going to be the spider tournament featuring the corrupted. So I'm going to be running those two dungeons over the next couple of days, and then whatever we get, we get. So probably just like the gems, maybe some soul coins, maybe a little bit of essence i don't intend to really get that far you can see we're about a thousand points with you know half a day's worth of effort so not very far i don't really care about this one there's going to be plenty of opportunities to get any and all of these types of rewards in the future and the scored soul is just not really that desirable not that i would ever go that far regardless but it's a fusion that i did but i have no intention of ever using the champion and so his soul being offered is not really a value to me so there you have it that is the free-to-play review of the latest iteration of the hero's path it's pretty cut and dry that this one is not really worth investing in at all in my opinion and as such i'm not going to be actively pursuing it and i don't recommend that you guys do it either but of course it is up to you and your discretion again there is a progressive chance event so if you're near mercy and you want to try your chances for a legendary that's on your list by all means it's up to you that's your decision let me know in the comment section down below what you plan to do with this hero's path are you joining me in skippersville or do you actually want to go for a certain champion featured in the boosted rates as always if you did find this video helpful then be sure to hit that like button down below it really does help out the channel and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one in the future thanks for watching and have a good one